це цифровий бренд нашої країни, це мобільний застосунок, який українці використовують для того, щоб отримувати всі державні послуги. Вже 19 мільйонів українців користуються Дія, це 70% всіх смартфонів. Я думаю, що Дія показала, що можна запускати швидкі продукти, можна робити їх якісно, можна робити безпечно, можна взагалі змінювати правила гри, робити максимальний реінженіринг, тобто змінювати процеси, а не просто відцифровувати хаос. І сьогодні вже Естонія починає впроваджувати Дію інші країни, і це тільки початок. Мені здається, що ми змінили правила гри в цифровізації держави. You know, Estonia has been pretty good at digital government for a few decades, and I think our frustration has always been that digital government kind of ends at the Estonian border. Uh, and then when, when Estonians go and do business or travel in other European countries, they don't go back into paper, but they go back into a world that's, that's manual, that's not automated. Um, and I think what digital government at a European level is ultimately about is it's supporting what has always been the goal of the European Union. So the free movement of people, of capital, of ideas, um, and removing all sorts of friction. So we think about everything from how easy it is for an Estonian company to tender in Finland to whether you can get your prescriptions when you're on holiday. The goal is uh, to have a much better cooperation amongst the uh, public services because we need uh, uh, cooperation across borders. We need much more interoperability, we have uh, different applications, different approaches, different procedures in member states, but at the end of the day, we should try ideally uh, to harmonize this and to, to offer our citizens a better access. Yeah, we need to work at uh, cross-border interoperability, work together uh, at European level and probably at global level. This is not about having all the services digital. This is about using technology and data to give and create better service delivery. So many of them are going to be digital, but we have to be aware that there is many people yet that they are not so digital. So I think that in any case, technology and data could have to give and improve those services. Government should be in an app, which means that you should be able to do everything that you have to do with government through a smartphone. It needs to be intuitive, it needs to be user-friendly, it needs to be safe, it needs to be quick, it needs to be efficient, and it needs to be nice to you. Uh, the best uh, excuse to come together is having like very defined, specific problems. So what I would say is that if we they get together and define a specific challenges that are uh, really urgent and important for all of us, all of us those are going to be super great excuses to come together, work together and have something good for the citizens. Um, it's going to take a large community, it's going to take a lot of uh, discussion. Uh, privacy is of course an issue, of course we need safeguards there. So is just the sheer technical side of the dossier and that's where the experts come in, making it work so that we're not just banging on about digital government and better services, but so that those services actually are better. Um, it's going to be a, so a so society-wide movement, um, and we will all have a contribution to make in it, both as consumers and producers, and as people who are part of this enormous uh, home that we call Europe. It's the start of a long road and not the end of it.